Even really experienced caption photographers, many of them are not aware about the feature which I will show you right now. The thing is that using the skin tone mode of color editor, you can perform complete color change. Complete. So you can, you can change any color on your image completely to any color of your choice in a matter of just seconds. It's basically, it requires a couple of clicks. So how it works. So I will draw a mask here and here like this. Now, so since I have just selected this area, uh, I can now change the color of this area. So what I'm going to do is clicking here and selecting the full color wheel like this. And now we need to adjust the uniformity hue slider to 100. And now you see this little dot here. You can just hold down the left mouse button and just move this dot. And this is how you can change color completely, entirely on your selected area. So for instance, like if, if you need to, to make it like a pink t-shirt, like short or green shirt, or let's say a uh, cyan one. So yeah, it's a, that's a pretty universal tool. Um, and really nice tool. So if you, if you need to adjust uh, your uh, color, completely change your color, that's a really nice tool. Finally, there is one more thing I would like to show you regarding the uh, color editor is the trick which I have personally discovered. So I think I'm the person who have discovered this feature because uh, I haven't seen uh, this feature mentioned anywhere before I have found it. It's, it's well, it's not a unique trick for Capture One, but it works un uniquely in Capture One. So it's, um, it's a pretty common trick to desaturate your image. Let's take this image and let's edit it in Photoshop. I will just use edit with feature. And I will open this image in Photoshop. Uh, now I will apply hue saturation, saturation um, tool here and I will change hue to 180 degree. So basically you, 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 can, you can change it in any direction. It doesn't matter. The only thing which is matter, it should be 180. And now let's, uh, let's set opacity to 50. Suddenly we have black and white image. Well, it's actually it's absolutely logical because like since we, we have a uh, like normal image and then we inverting all the colors and then we applying these inverted colors with a 50% opacity. So basically we're kind of like collapsing regular image with a inverted image and as a result, we just have a black and white image. The thing is that in Capture One, it doesn't work this way. It works a bit differently. It works like this. So to replicate this effect, we need to add new filled layer. And let's go to yeah, advanced color editor. And here we need to perform the same action six times. So we need to click plus icon, set hue to minus 30 or plus 30. It doesn't matter. You should do the same action six times. So I will, I will do minus 30. And then again, and again, and again, and again, and yeah, six. 
And now I'm setting opacity of this layer to 50. It's actually pretty close to black and white look, but definitely it's not black and white image. And if I will try to achieve the same look in Photoshop, I need to use, let's say, uh, color mode. Yeah, and then have somewhat similar image. It's not actually exactly similar, so it's not that layer mixing works as uh, color mode in Photoshop. No, it's not about this. It's about the fact that Capturon uh, has its own algorithms of layer mixing and blending. So, yeah. So now we know that this is how we can get desaturated image but weirdly desaturated. So it's kind of like desaturated, but not entirely. And that's pretty interesting. So that's basically the way to apply a new type of desaturation to your shots. Uh, also, in the bonus styles, you will find a style which is called desaturation via color inversion. And if you have Capture on 23, uh, you will find the layered version of this style. So basically, all you need to do is just to apply this style. And you already have this particular uh, layer uh, with this duration. And now you can just adjust opacity to get pretty interesting result. So, for instance, like here, I have desaturated my shot, but it's not quite regular desaturation. It looks pretty similar, but there is something, something different, something not as it might look if you will apply the regular desaturation. I love such things. It's kind of like they, it's like a, you know, like special sauce, special secret sauce, which only you are aware of. And you're applying this special sauce and you're getting a result a bit different of what all other photographers can get in Capture One. So that's why I like this, uh, this style.